This junction between Woodlands Avenue 6 and 7 was the scene of a horrific accident last Saturday which was captured on video. Now the video shows a motorcycle beating the red light and hitting a pedestrian. The 46-year-old woman, who was knocked down by the motorcycle, was admitted to Kutek Puat Hospital with multiple injuries and had undergone surgery. She is currently stable and recovering in the hospital and according to the hospital, is alert and conscious. According to police, the male motorcyclist in his late 20s was arrested on the same day for dangerous driving and investigations are still ongoing. Now the stretch of road along Woodlands Avenue 7 from Woodlands to Sambawang MRT is around 5 kilometers long and according to residents, it's notorious for speeding. It's from all the way from that side, all the way to this side. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like feel like it's a nice place to race for those, uh, those youngsters who you know, love to do all these kind of... Have, have you seen uh, motorcyclists or cars speeding along I have, this? I have heard from a distance there how, you know, you know the, the sound of the motorbikes. Yeah. Yeah, it's very loud and you know that that person is definitely speeding. I've seen a few accidents here but usually in the early morning. La. Daytime is quite okay. La. But do you notice that cars like to speed along this road? Because it's a, quite a long stretch of road with no traffic light, right, except for this traffic light. Right. You notice that there's a lot of cars who always speed, oh, and, and motorcycles also. Normally, motorbike lah, car not so, not so, not so. so I seldom see lah. I notice motorbike lah usually. The accident has left some residents worrying for their safety and calling for action. I think it's already safe enough lah, but people should abide more strictly to the rules lah, to the lights. Of course lah, we feel unsafe lah, right? Right, for usually for our grandchildren and for my kids that travel around here crossing the road. Yeah. It's, 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 so we hope that the government do some action on it. Right. So what do you think can be done? Probably they, they pay more observation on this area, pay more attention during the early morning and the late night. Having witnessed, right, so far I've witnessed two life accidents here. <laughs> and it's within a span of like uh, less than a year. Uh, and that doesn't include all those other accidents that that happen here. I don't know. It's hard to say because it looks safe enough, but it's just the, the feeling is not right. Maybe there's like camera being placed here so that you know drivers they are conscious. Okay, there's a camera here. I have to drive safely. Maybe I, I will be more careful uh, after seeing this accident. Yeah. The video, which was uploaded on citizen journalism site Stomp has since gone viral, garnering close to 50,000 hits on the site.